Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you. It's as much as you're getting to know me and if you resonate in uh with the videos and just gives you an uplift or insight that you truly need it please you know go ahead and share you never know how it might impact somebody's life and um today i will be doing um my tarot readings i'm not doing any videos right now at the moment you know about um different stuff that's being seen they, you know they wanted me to switch up my routine a little bit since i haven't did my tarot card readings for a while and go ahead and do it i think it's probably been like about two months two and a half months so I'm going ahead and do it this is for the, the spread the tarot card reading for the month of May and um, this sign is for Capricorns what is going on universe universe for the Capricorns what do they need to know that is taking place in the month of May for them what is taking place what is taking place all right all right all right all right listening you have been really allowing yourself to go down pack. The things that they're telling you is not good for your soul as well as your essence. You have been listening. They said that you, you know, the, the things that has taken place in your life has really, uh, really been beneficial towards you. Anything that we go through is always beneficial for us um, that's taking place, you know, especially if you know if there are certain things you want in your life, you're going to start listening. And you've been listening to the signs. You've been listening. You've been seeing signs. You've been hearing signs. Different things is telling you, every, you know, Know, things are coming underway for you you know never lose sight or hope on the things that are taking place you know if there's a whole lot of things that is just like um, seem like it's falling apart out of your life is bringing so much better and there's like they keep on saying it's ran its course they keep saying um, do that as ran its course but you're not catching on to your magic you got so much magic in you Capricorn they're telling you that you got so much magic and you recognize it you know consume that you know receive it to achieve it you know um you've been doing so good and they said they're not um don't ever feel like you're not enough because I, I don't know why this is the second time i've heard that it's like um that song by i think it was lillian helper it's like um know that you are good enough you know um like hold me while you wait know that you are good enough Please don't give up when things get rough. And I keep on hearing that song when it came up. So it's like, know your magic. You got it. You got it. You got it. And you you accepted yourself for who you are. You know it's a blessing to be who you are at this moment. It's always a blessing to be who you are. Even though your situations may have changed you drastically, this is what needed. It helped you recognize the core of you and you are accepting of that. And they're telling you congratulations because you needed that. You really needed that been listening to the music Jim and I just got that a few minutes ago it was like I said listen to the music the music and next you know the next card was called listening so it was crazy so it's just like somebody has been having concerns about certain things that's taking place and you keep asking the same thing and they're telling you you're getting answers through this song there's a song that keeps repeating to you if you're not hearing it um, you'll hear the lyrics that comes out like they're telling you if you hear the lyrics you know and you try to remember what it was you know google it and it's telling you it's giving you a confirmation through the song you may hear it on repeat on repeat it's in repetition uh, strongly in repetition for you and you know you're you're allowing the divine guidance to be really taking place into your life before you were trying to force things in your way but when you see so many things uh, became better when you allowed yourself to step out of the process of your progress step out of the way of that and they're so proud of you for that um it's going on but you're you, you're worried about the new beginnings like what's going on with you capricorn you've been listening you know you've been paying attention to the signs but you know you had to welcome your magic because it's like for you not really even though you did self-acceptance they said there's a part of you that is really um just wanting your acknowledgement it, it kind of scares you a little bit from what they're saying it, it kind of scares you because it's so powerful and they're telling you not to be scared of that this is something that truly needs to merge um and with that because i keep going here i keep hearing merging 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 is taking place your new love the new beginnings is wanting to take place but that new love you are worried about they say you've been friend zoning the heck out of somebody 
And this person is showing so many different things <laughs> that this person is really complete for you. This is going to be your anchor because what I'm hearing is like anchor, anchor, anchor. This new love, this new love is really, really beautiful for you. And they're telling you, you know, to understand that, you know, that new beginning um, has not been delayed. I mean, it's not been denied. They said this is just a quick pause. It's not been denied. It's not been delayed, but it's just a quick pause. You know, um, there is uh, no the the new love. You've been getting like um, it's like you you daydream a lot. You're in your head a lot, and there are certain things that's kind of ooh, that, that that moved. Okay, that was weird. Um, there are certain things that uh, this new love has been um, merging to you. I don't know if you've been seeing this person in your dreams or it could be a person that you may think heavily about and next thing you know, boom, this person ends up um, ends up texting you or ends up calling you. And they're telling you, you know, that person. And it's like celebrations. Celebrations is underway. But, you know, you have to... It's like the celebrations of new beginnings. Um is is wanting to take place but there are certain things has not yet revealed itself that's what they're saying it's not yet revealed they said don't get bummed out about it because this is happening it's already you know it's already been in the cards for this to happen but there's still other things that is underway for that is in, in coming into play for that you know and it's going to bring harmonious vibrations towards you in this new love you know the celebration of uh of that union of that new love that's taking place you know it's already you know uh, strongly connected in the spiritual realm it's just that you're waiting for that physical and they're telling you uh, just hold I, I keep on here and buckle your seat belts so whatever it is is moving rapidly so they say buckle your, your seat belts but uh, don't stay focused on that uh, new love because whatever it is you know that you're deserving of this and you know you've been getting divine guidance from that because you've been accepting yourself you've been listening you've been seeing the signs but they're wanting you to you know that magic you know listen to the music the music is giving you so much confirmations about that knowing that miracles is gonna happen miracles is taking place miracles is happening so now they want me to go ahead and put the spread because miracles is taking place in so many ways, it's gonna be different times when you're really needing help, and you've been just uh, like they say you feel like discarded or defeated, and they're telling you to get out of that, stop thinking that. You know, there's so many different things that's coming because whatever it is, this energy is coming in. You have so many beautiful things in, but it's just like you are strongly connected to the collective. You know, there's so many changes that's going into the collective. And a lot of times when we're doing that, so many good things are going on. But you still stay faces, fo focused on things that are irrelevant. And they're telling you to stop doing that because so many beautiful things are underway for you. Okay, let me see. Archangel. I don't know what the heck keep coming up with Archangel. It's like Archangel is really trying to come in and help you sever tides with something. It is either an old vibration is really just needing that cut way. Like, you, you really have these beautiful things that's wanting to take place. But they're telling you, you know, allow Archangel Michael. And they're saying Uriel. So, someone needs to get in touch with Uriel and Michael for that. You know, dreams is coming through, but you are not paying attention to it. There's so many different dreams that's telling you the next steps. And maybe it's just like you have something so heavy on your heart. You're... You're clouding the insight that is trying to come in for you. And they're telling you not to do that because you've been doing so good. But it's just certain things. You have went through a powerful spiritual growth. And this has happened like you've been really merging. But something happened in the last 72 hours from what I'm hearing. Because I know this came out before on another reading of mine. It's like 72 hours has came in. Something happened from that moon that we just had that new moon that came in either it was a new moon or full moon or whatever that was that just uh took place and something keyed off something and it kind of threw you off and you felt it because it's just it, it's just been crazy and your abundance you've been worried so much about abundance like what you lack and then you're you're creating that into your you know your reality don't do that capricorn don't do that because you got so much abundance and abundance is not you know, a lot of times when we see hear abundance and prosperity, we automatically think just monetary value. But there's, you know, it's spiritual, it's emotional, it's mental, you know. And they're telling you you need to go back out into nature. These are the things that you need to go out, 
you know, and venture out. You know, even if it's like for 10 minutes, you know, if you're busy, you need to really allow yourself to um, take that moment out. Because I keep hearing retreat. You need to take that time. You know, retreat is just for rest. You know, allowing yourself to meditate. You know, uh, getting uh, more... Um, meditate. <laughs> it's like just telling you to meditate. You need to go through that retreat. You know, meditate. You know, whatever you're having issues with, whether it's uh, surrendering and letting letting go to the universe, and the universe is playing heavy in your life. You know, they've seen how you've been kind to others. They see how you've been out going out your way. You've been placing forgiveness in your heart when it really needs that. You know, you're not allowing yourself to take it personal with other people's doings. You know, and and they're proud of you for that. But there's like a worry it's a worry about certain some some particular thing and they're telling you not to worry about that um surrender and release like i was just saying there's a certain a, a certain thing that you have been really heavy on your heart about and you know there's a lot of people that are going through that right now you know because they see you putting in work but then it's just like you feel like it's like that situation like if you're in trouble and you try to get off of ground day shit early and you're like well if you do it, it's like mom dad if i do this will you let me out of you know where i get off of punishment and it was like we'll see and then and it's just like you keep on it's like okay i cleared did you hear that i cleared and it's like every time you do something you're trying to announce it but they already know what you're doing they're they guided you towards that so they're telling you stop trying to force them to see stuff they're already seeing allow it to uh unfold the way it is trust that process you got this your prayers are being answered they're, they're telling you that you know because it, it's that medit they, they they're saying that you're worried and they're telling you your prayers are being answered it's just not in the ways that you thought they were it you know for your prayers to be answered they're eliminating a lot of things in your life that doesn't need to be there and maybe you feel like you've been abandoned you they're wanting you to get that peace and you really need to get that they're saying like surrender you know surrender to that you need that peace in your life, you know, to be able to see, you know, everything is, is like a blessing in disguise. And you, um, and they really know that, you know, you are very loved. You are very cared for, you know. And I got this for another um, reading. It's, this, it's saying to me, your inner child is still feeling wounded. And whatever it is taking place is like you keep reflecting back to that moment where your your, your inner child has really been uh, hurt. You know, where, whether you felt abandoned. It is somebody um, that has taken place into your life where you feel like you've been living a lie. Your life has been altered in some kind of way. But these are the things it's like it's been altered. But this is something that had to take place for this new merge to come out. This is like, even though it may be, it feel like it's been sent from the devil, but this is uh, blessed by divine. They're saying it's blessed by divine. These are the things. This is going to take you power, you know, into your purpose, your blessings. Like I said, it's been, it is, it's like asking you to heal your inner child, because whoever it is, I keep seeing. I, I even though I don't have this card, I see uh, swords, you know, uh, like seven of swords, like when, where, whatever this is, that. It has to do with your inner child um, or a child, you know, and, and it was just like that for the other one. It's just like whatever this child is, you know, you worry so much about that because maybe you have gone through certain things and you're starting to see uh, like this child merging to do, you know, you're starting to see a lot of your actions reflected in this child and they're telling you that inner child really needs your strong connection right now. And these blessings are underway towards that. And they're telling you, trust in divine time. And everything is unfolding exactly the way they're supposed to. You may be worried, thinking that you should have been further than you are right now. And they're telling you you're exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be. Everything is unfolding exactly the way it needs to be. And just allow yourself to trust in that. You know, we're in human form. It's hard for us to do that. That soulmate you're worried about. That's what they're talking about. It's probably something about a soulmate that is coming out. And it's, it's telling you it's already there. It's in the spirit realm. You know, a lot of people are getting that right now. It's, it's, already, in, it's already connected in the spiritual realm. But you feel like it's never going to take place. And they tell you to get out of that vibration. Because that's what's holding you back. Because you feel like it's never going to happen. And they tell you to let go of that fear and just fluid. Take your power back. 
They're saying take your power back when it comes to you having... Gosh, they're telling me these, these are the ones that go hand in hand. You know, you're taking your power back. This soulmate is not coming through, you know, because you feel like so many different things is uh, keeping you, you two away. And it's not. It's like that y'all are both going through uh, a, a very huge clearing. And they're telling you not to worry about that because this clearing is going to make sure nothing stands in the way of that. Those are the blessings, you know, and they're telling you the blessings that is taking place. Trust in that. Trust in that divine timing because these things are taking place for you for a reason. You know, these are clearing out, you know, anything, you know, a lot of times we hate waiting. You know, but waiting, that patience is a virtue. They keep saying patience is a virtue. You know, there's so many beautiful things that's coming out of this strong connection with that. With that, And you're allowing yourself, when that comes to them for that forgiveness, because they said something, forgiveness in child. So there's either something that took place in your, your, your childhood that really scarred you deeply. And whatever it is, is keeping you up late at night. And they're telling you these hap this happened for a reason. Tell me to pull three more cards. And one automatically fold. Okay. Your friendship. There is something. I don't know what it is about this. There's a friendship that has been trying to come in. This is not a good one. This is not good. Whatever this friendship is. And this is a person that's been in and out of your life. It's been like hot, cold, hot, cold. And it's like you keep giving this person chances. And it's, it's not good. Because this last time, they have a feeling something is about to take place into your life. And they're trying to make sure they can be a part of that. And universe is telling you no. Whatever you've been contemplating about. that, that Oh, they're coming back different. They're acting different. No, they just changed the way of the, how they do their game. But it's the, they're up to the same old, old BS. But... Is coming in a different way. Knowing your truth. When you can be true with yourself. Oh when you're true with yourself. And they're asking for assistance. They're telling you. You know everything is happening. Where, where their universe is helping you. You know your guardian angels is helping you. You know but Mark. Uh, uh, you need to be able to invoke Archangel Michael. You know and allow them to t help you take place. When you allow yourself to know. There are certain things you're trying to force to hold on to. And they're telling you no. This is what needs to break away. You know. And that's messing up your manifestations because of that. And they're telling you guys. So much stuff is trying to manifest into your life. But they need you to stop that connection with that. Whatever that energy is. It's just really volatile. It's just really. Because I keep seeing devil horns. And they're telling you retreat. When you retreat. There's so much insight that's going to come to you. And it's, when I say it's coming, it's coming in a full force. Because when you allow yourself to isolate and not distract yourself with uh, tight, you know, tedious things, they say, don't access, stay in the access of tedious things. This is that time for you to go in isolation. That's why I say isolation and um, solitude. This is that time because it gives you so much insight on what is taking place for y'all, uh, Capricorn. These, this is something very beautiful. You know, that's taking place. I'm trying to spread these out because I'm about to show you the cards. I don't want y'all to think that I'm manipulating cards. Okay. All right. You see these different cards. So I hope that was a good read for y'all Capricorns. You know, you have so many beautiful things that's taking place. But allow yourself to focus on the good, the things that you, you, you know, be strong in your intentions about what you're wanting into your life. And allow things to unfold the way they are. You know, keep allowing yourself to place forgiveness in where it really needs to be. Allowing yourself to get strongly in um, into connections with that inner child. You know, um, if, the, if your children, if you have an uh, issue with a child, they're starting to reflect that. That's maybe a signal. For you, for something that happened in your childhood that you may be seeing is coming out and reflective to your children, um, they're saying for you to go allow yourself to heal so that doesn't take place in their their timeline because when you're healing, they're not allowing that you're not allowing the broken 
parts of yourself that was in that negative or is in trauma bonding or codependency, that's not going to uh, overlap into the next cycle when it comes to your children. So when you're don't no worries about the children, they're going through their healing phases and a lot of things that you may not understand about that, but they're going through healing too. But they're telling you you have to go through your inner child. Whatever it has been that flipped your life upside down, this is that time. They say don't worry about manifestations. Knowing blessings are coming in so many different ways. But just allow yourself to surrender because it's like somebody is trying to manip time manipulate timelines to make things move faster than their should be and they're allowing to, they're telling you to take step by step stop trying to force things to move faster than it is because you may miss out on other blessings that's trying to come through through those life lessons of healing uh the soul so these are this is really really good because they're telling you you have so many answers that's telling you maybe like what do i do what do i do and they're just telling you just breathe and relax you know take your power back from uh thinking the soulmates not coming in they're already there they're already in that alignment. They're just telling you, you know, there are certain things that they're clearing out their lives as you need to do for yours. And everything is going to go underway. Once you allow yourself to be true to yourself and, and, and open the doors for a universe to help you, the faster that will come in. But you have to let go of that that toxic friendship, wherever it is. But I hope that was um, you are able to resonate with that. Much love to y'all. Peace. Oh, if you ever want a uh, private reading, I'll find out. We <laughs> got about that. If you ever interested in having a private uh, reading, I always leave my contact uh, my contact uh, information in the description box below. Much love, peace.